we are going to be doing an endoscopy of the upper airway of this horse. So we're gonna go in and we are going to look inside his airway. All right, so here we are seeing he has something called displacement of the palate. So he is displacing the palate right there. If you want to learn about upper airway, actually we have a website. It's called airulan.com slash larynx. Airulan.com slash larynx, where we show a lot of the possibilities of what kind of diseases can affect the airway of the horse. So this is called an upper airway endoscopy. A, there's a lot of inflammation over here. Mm -hmm. This is called the epiglottis right there. Epiglottis, that's the larynx of the horse. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go in the trachea. All the way in the oh, there's food over here. That's food. So this horse is actually getting food inside the trachea, and that's probably why he cough, why he's coughing a lot. There's some mucus. I'm going in the trachea right now towards the lungs. Right there is a lot of mucus right there in the lungs. Right there. So I'm going in the trachea. All right, all that white stuff is mucus. Okay. All right. So that was the upper airway endoscopy of a horse. So now we're gonna X-ray his head to find out why there is mucus coming out of his nostrils. We suspect he could have a tooth infection. found my friends absolutely nothing i am opening making an opening in what we call the gutura pouches you know when you when you're flying when you're in a plane and you start going up the high altitude and your ears start bugging you that's because there's a tube in the head in, in your head that gets plugged or gets pressure changes and that in the horses is called the guttural pouches. Guttural pouches. And that's what we're trying to get over here. This horse has a lot of inflammation in here. A lot. It's not an easy, it's not going to be an easy feast to get into his pouches, but I'm, I'm seeing a lot of inflammation and it's not letting me get in. They go to the pouches. What could that mean? So much inflammation. This horse has been has been suffering from airway disease for a very long time. And because of that, the anatomy here is a bit distorted. I think we're finding the cause. Slowly but surely. We're starting to find the problem, my friend. On tight, it's gonna hurt. Hmm. We're gonna have to adapt the tool. I want the monkey before. We're gonna have to do a what I call a very high tech modification to my tool. Easy towel. We're gonna get it done. We have faith. Bad faith to make a video out of them.
This is a very interesting case. As you can see, we have done a lot to figure out what's wrong with this horse. So far, we have done over airway endoscopy, we have done physical exam, we have done blood work, and we have looked in the gutter pouches. And now, the next thing, because I have a high suspicion that this horse might be also having an allergic component, um, I'm gonna do a transtachia wash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the, through the trachea, we're gonna go through the lungs very steadily, and we're gonna remove a sample, we're gonna send it to the laboratory, and in the laboratory they're gonna send, they're gonna tell us what kind of cells they are, if there's any bacteria or anything going on inside the lungs that can help me figure out what is wrong with them. So stay tuned because part two is going to be about the transtracheal wash.